This week's top Disney news stories include lots about the upcoming Star Wars festivities in honor of May the 4th. There are also some stories about the Disney family sing-along and Hercules. Stay tuned, and I'll break it all down. Well, hello there. My name is Jeremy, and welcome back to Freeform Disney, where I talk about all aspects of Disney, from the animated movies to the theme parks to Star Wars, Marvel, and Pixar, and the TV shows, and everything else in between. And that is why it's Freeform. And keep coming back every day for new daily content. If you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now it's that time of the week once more, so on to this week's biggest Disney news stories. This is a much lighter week for Disney news than normal, and so I'll keep this relatively short this week. Our top story for the week is all about May the 4th and everything Star Wars surrounding it. First off, if you're not aware, May the 4th is a major Star Wars day because of the phrase, May the Force be with you? That's how the origin got to May the 4th, and so it's been celebrated for years and years now. And it's becoming a big event, and even this year, with social distancing, it's still a big event. And then the day after that is also referred to as Revenge of the Fifth sometimes, and so we definitely have some stuff on that day as well. So let's get into all the activities that are surrounding next week. First, I'm going to go start talking about the Disney Twitter controversy that kicked up recently. Disney put up what was originally a fairly innocuous tweet, as you can see. They're just asking people to share their favorite Star Wars memories. But then they followed that one up with a different tweet that said, By sharing your message with us using hashtag May the 4th, you agree to our use of the message and your account name in all media and our terms of use. And they linked the general Disney terms of use, a giant 6500 word document. So I guess you could go look through that if you wanted to have some idea what the heck Disney was talking about. But on top of that being problematic, and all the legal mumbo-jumbo being a complete mess in this day and age where we put giant legal documents that are made to make sure that we don't read through them because who's going to read through pages after pages after pages? But this is more problematic here because the tweet made it look very much like anybody who uses a hashtag, Disney can now go ahead and use their tweet and their name without asking any other permission. Luckily, after a lot of backlash, Disney came out and added a new tweet to clarify what they meant, saying that it would only apply to tweets that were specifically replying to their tweet and that used the hashtag May the 4th and mentioned Disney+. Plus. Even there, let's be honest, it's still messy, but it's one heck of a lot better than making it sound like any use of the hashtag May the 4th would be prerogative of Disney taking your tweet and be able to use it however they like which according to multiple lawyers, they certainly don't have the right to go ahead and do. So that said, if you are interested in sharing your memories, go ahead and check out Disney's tweet and reply to that, and maybe they'll include it. And if you're worried about Disney stealing your tweets, it looks like that's going to be okay too, and doesn't look like you're going to go ahead and go down that route. A little bit of Disney controversy for you to start off the week. What else do we got? Well, let's see. For May the 4th, there's uh, at least a couple deals in Star Wars merchandise going on. Apparently, Lego's got a free Death Star 2 battle scene set if you purchase at least $75 for the Legos. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is half off for the PC. It's down to $30 instead of $60 for May the 4th. And Star Wars Battlefront 2 is down to $6 on Origin. So a few different merchandise things, and I'm sure there are more that I just haven't run across, too. Moving on over to Disney+, Plus, we got a few things. First off, as I mentioned last week, we've got the Clone Wars finale. That will be coming May the 4th, not its normal Friday, but Monday, May the 4th instead. And also, a new series, Disney Gallery, which is a documentary series, will be starting its eight-part Mandalorian documentary. And then the second one of that will be just on Friday, so you don't have to wait too long for the second episode. One new piece of news for Disney Plus regarding Star Wars on May the 4th, Rise of Skywalker will be released on Monday. That's about two months earlier than otherwise expected. So for everyone wanting to see Rise of Skywalker again, you're in luck. And also one other thing on Disney+, Plus, apparently a commemorative gallery with artwork from both Star Wars movies and shows. I'm curious to see what all will pop into that commemorative gallery. And uh, you better bet I'm going to be looking into it when it launches on May the 4th. 
And finally, for the festivities coming up this week, we've got a virtual convention that will be happening on both the 4th and the 5th. It's being put together by ReadPop, organizers of a whole bunch of conventions, and it's being titled An Online Revelry. May the 4th be with you, and Revenge of the 5th. So some of the events are still in flux, and they're still potentially adding more speakers, more guests. But what we know so far is May the 4th, there will be live tweeting going on for each of the movies of the original trilogy. There will also be a Q&A with Ashley Eckstein, that's Ahsoka Tano over in Clone Wars. There will also be a Q&A with Vanessa Marshall, who plays Hera Sindola over in Star Wars Rebels. And there will be a live tweet for both the Clone Wars finale and a Rebels episode. And one other piece is that we do know there will be some interviews with authors of Star Wars books coming out also on May the 4th. Don't know who exactly, but there are definitely some cool authors I'd love to go ahead and see involved on that too. And then on the Revenge of the Fifth, there will be live tweeting for the movies Revenge of the Sith, Rise of Skywalker, and Solo, A Star Wars Story. There will also apparently be a live playthrough of Scum and Villainy RPG. And there will be a live comics roundtable with a few different people within the Star Wars comics field. And that's not all. There's still three more major events we know of. There's a Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order live stream. There will be an interesting behind the scenes about saving the Lars homestead over in Tunisia. And there will be a Q&A with Brian Herring, which was recently announced. He's the puppeteer for BB-8 and the Porgs in the new trilogy. And also, if that's not enough for you, there's also going to be trivia and prizes during the course of the online convention. So there's a lot to keep you occupied during an online revelry. May the 4th be with you and Revenge of the 5th. What all activities are you going to be participating in? I mean, there's a lot to choose from there. Or maybe you're just going to go to it fully as if you were at a convention and partake in everything there for those couple days. Should be a lot of fun regardless. I'm looking forward to catching at least a bit of it myself. And with that, that means it's now time for everyone's favorite part of the weekly news video, the lightning round. Some character dining is actually coming back to the Hong Kong Disneyland Hotel. Reservations are now open for certain times there. Rob Gibbs, veteran Pixar story artist, is now dead at the age of 55. He worked on numerous movies including Toy Story 2 and Monsters Inc. as well as directing and writing Mater's Tall Tales. The Disney Family Singlong Volume 2 will be coming to ABC on Mother's Day, so that will be Sunday, May 10th at 7 p.m. Eastern. The first part was so successful that they are coming back with more new people to go ahead and do it all over again. Disney's Buena Vista Construction Company down in Florida just laid off over 1,000 workers. This is due to the lack of construction going on over at Disney World because of the coronavirus pandemic. The NBA is reportedly considering using Walt Disney World for continuing its basketball season. No official word on whether this will happen yet, but there is some behind-the-scenes talk about the possibility. There's a live-action remake for Hercules on its way. Apparently, David Callahan will be writing it. He's a writer for the upcoming Shang-Chi and also wrote The Expendables. And the Russo brothers will be producing it. No word on the directors or actors or anything else at this point in time. Looking forward to that. And so, that's the brief Disney news for the week. Did I miss any big news stories? Are you planning on partaking in any of the Star Wars festivities this week? There's a lot to choose from. Let me know down on below in the comments. And everybody, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, as usual, give it a share, like it with your friends. And I'll be back again tomorrow with another brand new video. Star Wars. Star Wars week. And if you haven't done it yet, click that subscribe button and ring the bell. Have a magical day, everyone. And may the Force be with you. Always.